Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today I'm going to compare the Nege Max 4 with the E80 20W laser module, the Scalfron S3 Pro Max with the 20W laser module, and the Long Array 5 with the 20W laser module. Without further ado, let's get into it! Familiar. These are some of the most powerful laser engravers that you can get right now, beside the 30 and 40 watt that some brands start recently to release. Now, before getting any further, I just want you to know that this video is not sponsored, so I'm not being paid by none of the brands, and regardless, I like to keep my video reviews unbiased, therefore all of the opinion that you are about to hear, they represent my honest opinion about these machines. So with this out of the way, let's keep going. Now, I'll break down the uh, comparison into a different chapter, covering the design, the laser engravers, the real dimension, the speed performance, the power performance, the features and accessories, the pros and the cons, and the conclusion. You'll find a timestamp for each chapter in the timeline below, so that you can jump as you please. Also, if you're interested in uh, the individual reviews of these machines, you will see a card popping up in the corner, and you will also find the links in the video description below. Along with it, you will also find the links to the latest offer for each individual machine. The Scalfron and the Longer share a traditional high-profile design with off-shelf components, while the Nege uses a combination of off-shelf railing and other proprietary framing parts which have been machined with a diamond cutter, this for higher precision and accuracy, all built in a low-profile frame. The Scalfron and the Nege both use linear rails, uh, for the fast x-axis, while the longer remains with traditional 2020 extruded profile and rollers. Usually the linear rail allow the machine to run smoother. In all the machines, the gantry carries the stepper motor and the laser module, while in the Nege it also carries the main board. Finally, the Scalfan and the longer use a single stepper motor plus two linked timing belt for the y-axis, while Nege uses two unlinked stepper motors and the timing belt, one for each side of the y-axis. Two stepper motors are better at pushing the y-axis faster. However, the missing linkage means that uh, if they are not perfectly in sync or if you move the y-axis by end, you will lose squareness. That is, the x and the y-axis won't be at 90 degrees. The laser module are all quad diodes with an optic power of about 20 watt each. Now, Scalfan has a traditional design with a simple nozzle at the bottom. Longer has also a traditional design, however, at the bottom you find something that looks like a double nozzle, which, besides getting the air from the pump, also uh, drives the air from its own cooling fan down to the center, which makes it more effective. Both modules have very loud fans and run constantly, also while idling. Nege, on the other hand, uses a completely different design. I really like the look of it and it also feels very well built. And so far, it is one of the quietest laser modules I have heard. And its fans are not spinning while I do. As for the height adjustment, uh, both Longer and Scalfan, they share a similar approach with knobs and clearance plate or cylinder, although I find the Longer a little bit easier to operate thanks to the knobs located in the front of the machine. Nege, instead, thanks to the motorized Z-axis, after a little bit of setup at the beginning, you will be basically able to adjust the height by simply inputting the material thickness in light burn. To clean the lenses, I find the Nege to be the easiest among the three, and that's because you simply need to screw the nozzle by hand in order to get access to the lens. At second place, I will put the skull fan, because you have to unscrew a set screw that holds the uh, nozzle in place and then you get access to the lens as well and the hardest among the three is the longer because you got a flange with four bolts to remove plus the nozzle and then finally you get access to the lens as well all right let's now talk about the dimension now it is clear that the nege max 4 is the biggest machine here but my intent is to show the actual dimension and if they correspond to the advertised one plus I want to include the vertical clearance because I believe that this is a very important parameter so that you know how tall of an object you can actually stick under your machine. And then the dimensional efficiency, which means which machine offers the biggest engraving area compared to the overall dimension or basically the footprint of the machine. 
Starting with the NJ Max 4, the advertised machine size is 750 times uh, 460, while the actual size is 751 times 462, which meets specification. As for the vertical clearance, you get a 61 millimeter. The Scalfan S30 Pro Max claims an area of 370-363, while the actual size is 381-369. Now, it is worth noticing here that the way you fix the micro switches, which are, are external in this machine, uh, they affect the final uh, dimension of your working area. In mine, I installed them a little bit inclined, not perfectly squared, in order to maximize the area. In this machine, the vertical clearance is 56 mm. The longer ray 520 watt claims an area of 375, 375, while the actual size is 375, 383. The vertical clearance here is 96 mm. As for the area efficiency, we have a 39.2 for the longer, a 41.8 for the Scalfan, and a 56.6 for the Nege, which means that Nege provides more working area compared to the space that the machine is going to occupy in your workshop. Longer instead is penalized a little bit because of the protruding display. Each machine has a speed limit provided by the brand. Now, I wanted to test if the machine truly keeps up with that. And so in order to check this, I raised the maximum speed parameter from the GRBL configuration. As I set up, I placed the ruler in the machine and aligned the laser with it. Then I set some free travel distance with the laser at low power and timed the machine in the middle so that I could time the section where the machine would run at constant speed and skipping the acceleration and deceleration section. The timing step was done by counting the frame in the video editing software and the results are as follows. Now, longer claims a top speed of 10,000 millimeters per minute, while the machine maxes out at 18,000 millimeters per minute. Now, I could not find anything about the Scalfan, but the parameter in the GRBL configuration was set to 20,000 and the machine in fact maxes out at 25,000 millimeters per minute. While Nege claims a top speed of up to 24 mm per minute, and that's actually its maximum speed. Now, all three machines meet specification. However, it is worth knowing that each individual machine will slow down accordingly, depending on the situation. As for the power, all machines share a very similar power. Now, as a reference here, I took the cutting test of the 3mm or 1 8 of an inch birch playwood that I run for the respective video review when the machine were new, so that we do not need to account for power drops due to their use. Because yes, all laser will drop in power over time. Now, starting with a J, with air from a compressor at about 4 bars or 50 psi, it cuts cleanly at 500 mm per minute, 95% in power. However, I would run conservatively at 400 mm per minute to make sure that it cuts well all the time. Longer with air from an air pump that they sell on their website, it cuts cleanly at 450 mm per minute, 95% in power, but I will run conservatively at 350 mm per minute. Scalfan, same as longer, 450 mm per minute, 95% in power, and again, I will run conservatively at 350 mm per minute. With these parameters, the laser cuts without stringing on the back side. Uh, therefore, uh, you will need little to no force in order to pop out the piece from the sheet. And this not only will ensure a clean cut, but also it will avoid damages to small details. While running at 95% power is good for the life of your laser. Otherwise, all three machines are actually capable uh, to cut at a faster rate. Now, for quick comparison, I'm putting also the uh, engraving of uh, birch playwood for all three machines so that you can assess yourself uh, which one you think uh, performs better. All right, it is now time to talk about the future, which really makes the difference between these machines. Now, Longer comes with an offline controller with a three and a half inches touchscreen color display and also offer wireless over Wi-Fi functionality and a mobile app. Scalfan is an all-in-one package here because it comes with an air pump that can be controlled through the software and a spare lens kit, but it lacks the offline functionalities. Now, the brand here claims that 
uh, you can buy that separately. However, I could not find these additional cards in their website. Nege offers a bunch of features that set it apart uh, not only from the two machines I'm comparing it against, but also to many other machines in the industry right now. Now, you get a Z axis, which allow you uh, for automatic Z offset and therefore also height adjustment, 3D engravings, drawings, attachment included, and plotting, attachment not included. Plus, the machine is built in auxiliary switches, which allow you to control the hair from a hose or directly a compressor, the fan, the rotary axis, and the emergency button. However, the accessory needed to use these auxiliary controls are not included and they are sold separately. In addition, the machine has also an offline functionality. However, it works in conjunction with Nege proprietary software and you also get a mobile app. As for the accessory, longer comes with a few pieces of test sheet of playwood and an SD card with a reader. Scalfan comes with an air pump, a few test sheets of playwood, one sheet of stainless steel and a lens repair kit. Nege comes with a drawing pen attachment, two types of air nozzle, a lens and a couple of small test pieces. All right, let me now tell you the major pros and cons. Then if you're looking for more details, if you want to know more pros and more cons for each individual machine, I highly recommend you uh, having a look to the individual video reviews. Starting with longer and the pros, it comes built in with an offline controller uh, with an easy to use screen so you can basically run without a PC and it works absolutely reliably. As a cons, the laser is hard to see through the glass when framing and the fan is very loud and runs while idling. Scalfan pros, this is an all-in-one package machine with included air pump so you can start right away. The cons, the fan is very loud also here, it runs while idling and the machine does not have a built-in offline function. Nege pros, you get a z-axis, built-in auxiliary control, so you can automatically control your uh, air, your fan and more. And the low profile allows you to virtually work like if you had a pass-through, uh, where you can engrave sheet that are longer than the machine. As a cons, the main board is attached to the gantry and moves with the machine dragging around the data and the power cable, which adds the risk uh, for the connectors to snap off the PCB or even the entire machine to move while engraving. As you can see, each machine has its strengths and weaknesses. Each offers something that the other does not and they all share similar performance. There are differences in the speeds. However, from experience, you will rarely find the occasion to run faster than 10,000 millimeters per minute. In fact, the only material that really responds well to this high speed for this power is MDF and cardboard. The prices are also similar with 1,000 USD for Longer and Nege and 950 for the Scalfan. However, Longer and Scalfan run more discount campaigns and literally it is very hard to find the machine at the retail price and sometimes you can even find one of those machines as low as 660 USD. Now the best machine really depends from your needs, your priorities, your budget and of course also your space. If you like you can share which machine you like more and why in the comment section below so that you help other viewers to make better buying decisions. Now, I personally like the Nege Max 4 because of the auxiliary control, which allow me to control the air and the extractor, and the low profile, which allow me to basically work out longer sheets without having to cut them down to size in advance. And also, the low profile makes it easy to see the machine while framing in the front area of the machine. All right, and this is pretty much all. Now, I hope you found this video informative. I hope this video is going to help you out to take a better buying decision. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below. Click the thumb up button below if you like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more video like this one. Ciao for now.